Then Peter answered, this is the next verse in Matthew 17, Then Peter answered, and he said unto Jesus, O oh Lord, it's so good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But while he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. You know, I love Peter. Peter is one who always had his foot in his mouth about half the time. When he stood up and said, Let us build here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. Basically, the Lord says, while he was still speaking, this bright cloud overshadowed him. And basically, the Lord said, shut up, Peter. This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Now, Peter represents the church. And when the disciples heard it, it says they fell on their faces and they were greatly, greatly afraid. Peter represents the age of the church. You know, in the age of the church, we're still doing exactly the thing that the Lord told Peter not to do. He's not going to build a tabernacle made with human hands. He's not going to inhabit a church building. He told Peter, listen, Peter, this is my beloved son. Today, the church is still doing exactly the same thing that it did in the day of Peter. We always want to build a tabernacle to the place we last saw the glory of God. You know, as a result of that, we have a Catholic tabernacle, a Methodist tabernacle, a Presbyterian tabernacle, a Church of Christ tabernacle, a Pentecostal tabernacle, a Charismatic tabernacle. We always want to build a tabernacle to represent the place that we last saw the glory of God. The problem with that is, as soon as we set up our tabernacle, as soon as we establish our constitution and write down all our bylaws and elect all of our elders, the Lord has already moved into another direction because he's not going to be contained in something built with human hands. How many of you know he's not coming back for the Catholic Church, Methodist, Lutheran, Baptist, Presbyterian, Pentecostal, Charismatic? He's coming back for one church, pure and holy, in whom he can have a holy habitation and a dwelling place for his glory.